Hi! Make a video for once. Um, I'm gonna talk about a few things, life and particularly something about body image and weight. So I'll save that for the end. And if you don't want to hear about it, I will warn you that I'm gonna start talking about it, and then you can stop. But first, uh, my dreads. They finally fit in a braid. So that is really exciting because I was tired of having them on a bun in my, like a bun on the top of my head and they're getting weird and this way they can hang out and not get so like clumped together which they still really are clumped together and I really need to go through and just fix them one day and I still haven't. Um, it's a matter of working my schedule out with my friends and so that should be happening I hope soon <laughs> but they're doing pretty well with the washes every time I wash them they stick together less and less so that'll be good but this I have not reshaved and I don't think I'm going to throughout the winter I don't really know what my end goal with that is maybe in the summer I'll reshave it again or maybe I'm just gonna let it grow out and dread it when it gets long enough I don't really know um, it's kind of one of those things like I'll deal with it when I come to it um, the hyper granulation on my nose piercing is completely gone, so it can finally start healing, and it'll be great. I've had it for about five, six weeks now, so I still have like a month, two months, three months maybe of healing. Um, I'm still going barefoot, even though it's starting to get cold, I'm going to invest in a pair of moccasins that I'm going to sew together myself, which will be fun and just kind of condition my feet a little bit, you know, go a little bit until my toes start getting cold and then put the shoes on. I don't get much snow down in my college town, in my hometown I do, so it'll really depend where I am during Christmas break, how much snow and cold interaction my feet get. Um, what else? My friend and I just bought a hookah together. Um, should be here this week. That'll be fun. Um, it was. It's a nice. It's just a 13 inch one, two hoses. Um, it was like 40 bucks. We're gonna split the cost. Shipping was like 15, but that's understandable. So we're just gonna split that. Um, so that'll be fun. Hoping it's here by the weekend. It should be. It's only like three or four day shipping. So if it ships out today, I'll get it pretty soon. Um, I think that's it as far as that kind of stuff I want to talk about. So now I'm going to go into like the body image and weight stuff. So if you don't want to hear about that, you can stop now. Um, I'm in a women and gender studies class and today we talked about body image and I was really excited because I thought it was going to be presented really well and for the most part it was but I still really dislike how much they put an emphasis on weight. Not, not weight in general, just the number because it does not take into account muscle mass or anything like that and so there's a big difference between, let's say, a guy who weighs 250 pounds and doesn't work out and it's mostly fat, compared to a bodybuilder who weighs 250 pounds. There's a difference in how that looks. And it's very frustrating to me that they don't point that kind of stuff out. It really irks me. And another thing is, they put an emphasis on low weights, like low weight, like it's a bad thing. When sometimes it just happens naturally. I am a small person. I am barely five foot, and my highest weight I've ever hit was when I was training um, for running. With all my muscle mass, I barely hit 106. Before I got to college, I weighed about 94 pounds, and now not training and just kind of hanging out and all that, 
away anywhere from like 96 to 98, 100 maybe. So when they put so much emphasis on numbers specifically, it gets so, it's so misinformed and being a runner and being in the running community and knowing about nutrition and muscle mass versus fat mass and all that, it's it's really frustrating to listen to someone who doesn't really understand it, talk about it. Um, and the whole class I sort of felt alienated because they talked about low weights. Like, if you have a low weight under this weight, you are, you have an eating disorder. Like, it was, that's the way it was presented and it was really frustrating. And another thing that's frustrating is obesity is becoming a thing in the United States where it's okay which I don't agree with either being a runner I think that people I don't think people should all should be crazy fitness people if that's not your thing it's not your thing but I think you should want to be healthy and I understand there's different mindsets and emotional things that stem and causing disorders and overeating and things like that but an average person who is just overweight and I don't see the point, I don't see the, I don't see how it's a good thing, I don't know why people, I don't think people want to be that way, I don't know, I don't really have my thoughts together on it, this is just kind of like a mini rant and I'll think it through throughout the week and talk to other people about it, but it's a frustrating and touchy subject for myself and a lot of people. I have people very close to me have eating disorders. It's very common in the running community. I don't think it's stressed enough or addressed enough, especially in high school sports. Um, so there's a lot of things. And my professor pointed out that weight and everything like this and body image it's so not talked about because it's still like a taboo t subject you don't ask people their way you don't talk about those kind of things so I don't know it's a weird subject but I felt really oddly alienated in the class for being so tiny and it makes people look at me when they have these thoughts going on in their head like does she have an eating disorder I don't think I look grossly skinny. I'm not, like, I don't, I have a really obnoxiously baggy sweater on, but I'm tiny all around. I don't have boobs. I don't have the little hips. My thighs are large from running, but I don't think I'm that skinny. I think I'm average for my height, definitely. I think I'm at a healthy, healthy average for my eating habits and my metabolism, my amount of exercise and calorie intake versus outtake, well, exertion, but I don't know, it, it's, I understand what it's trying to do, but in some aspects, um, body, teaching about body image gets really counterproductive in some points. So that's my rant on that. Um, I don't know when I'll make my, make, uh, 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 uh. I don't know when I'll make my next video. Maybe when I get my hookah this weekend, maybe I'll do an unboxing or something crazy like that. <laughs> so yeah, but if you have any thoughts about body image or anything like that, you can comment about it. Or don't. Think about it. At least. That'd be nice. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um... If you want to hear more of my actual daily thoughts as they happen, I am somewhat of a Tumblr addict, so I'll post my URL in the description. And yeah, so I'll definitely do an unboxing for my hookah. It's decided. Okay, bye.